Welcome everybody to Gonzalez Science. I'm Gonzalez. Thanks for tuning in again for another great episode about crystals today. So over this past week, me and my classes have been making crystals and I want to show you how to make crystals at home. So the way that we'll start is just like this. So you'll need to put in four tablespoons of water. So a tablespoon is the larger one that looks like this, not to be confused with the teaspoon. It's a tablespoon, that's the bigger one right there, TBS. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So inside of a beaker or a bottle or whatever, you're gonna put four tablespoons of water and then you're gonna use what's called ammonia. And the ammonia is, is not something that's safe. It's not something that should be drank. It's basically the same thing that's in Windex. So you need to be very careful with this because it's very, very stinky. So we're gonna put two tablespoons of the ammonia inside. One, two. Okay, also what goes inside of here is table salt. So you'll put two tablespoons of salt inside here and I've already done that. So I put the water, four tablespoons of the water, two tablespoons of the salt, two tablespoons of the ammonia, and then two tablespoons of this special stuff that you can get from Albertsons, which is called liquid bluing. Now before there was bleach, this stuff was used and it happens to be blue. So this will stain your hands and it will stain your clothes if you get it on it. So again, this is just bleach. That's all it is. It's just in a blue formula, but they make crystals and they're still sold. This little bottle is a little expensive, I think. About $3.99 for one of Mrs. Stewart's liquid bluey. So let's go ahead and let's do that now. And I'm not going to pour it to the top, but I'm just showing you what you need to do to make the crystal happen. So I'm going to pour it, pour it, pour it. It's going to be this really blue sludgy stuff once I mix it up for us. So there we go. There we go again. So I'm done now using these tools. Oops. Let me cap it up just in case. Now I'm going to take it over to you, and I use uh, a coffee stirrer to stir all this good stuff up. So you're going to see it looks like blue sludge right now. So let's just go ahead, let's stir it, let's dissolve the salt. Okay, you're just really going to stir it up, do, 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 like this. Okay, and you'll keep stirring, stirring, stirring until every all, most of the salt has dissolved. What you're going to do with this now is we're going to pour all of this over a charcoal, right? So you get charcoal from the 99 cent store. Um, just little pieces, you can do sponges, charcoal, uh, anything that you really can be used for this. And so when you do that in another cup, you're going to pour all of the charcoal in another cup. You're going to pour all of the liquid over the charcoal. So I'm going to take you for a little classroom tour real quick right now so you can see after a few days these tremendous crystals will start forming. So let's take a look right now. So here's a nice one over here. There's a lot of nice ones right here. I mean, it gets just real messy. Look at that. Wow. You see that? Wow. See that? I mean, all those are the crystals. Now, they're very fragile crystals. They're not crystals like a diamond or a gemstone. But you can see a crystal is a repeating pattern of atoms. Look at that one over there. That's real nice. And look at that one. They almost look like cauliflowers, just white cauliflowers. Here's another one over here. Let's take it over here. So there's some nice ones right here. And if you do this right, you really can get some great... Um, crystals forming. So again, I'll take you over to the materials right here. We got the ammonia, we've got the liquid bluing, uh, table salt, water. We mix it all up. We get another cup. We put the charcoal inside the secondary cup and then we pour all of this stuff inside there into the cup like this. And you can see there's still liquid inside of many of these cups, right? So it's a new cup and then it starts forming. So what's the deal here and what's going on? So now that we've dissolved the salt, now that we've dissolved the salt, the ammonia is speeding up the process for all of that salt to come back up and to start growing and crystallizing on the charcoal and on top of the cup. That's the purpose of the ammonia, to dry things out, to make the evaporation happen quicker. And so, as I said, a crystal is just a repeating pattern. That's all it is, as opposed to an amorphous solid, which has no repeating pattern at all. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment. It's a fun one, it's great. As a bonus tip, you can actually put, uh, instead of it being a white crystal, you can put food coloring on it. Uh, before it starts growing, red, green, blue, yellow, whatever, and it'll turn into that color, and you'll have this amazing crystal garden. Thanks again for joining me, everybody. Have a